welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am joined, as always, by our near end game squad of Tweak, Elvis, Lamia, and Sam. Now, this is not going to be the party that I'm moving forward with. This is a party that will allow me to show off a little bit of what I have been doing and can kind of give you a basic gist of what I have or why I have done what I have done. Um, first off, I want to take a look at Tweak. I have been working on his rages. He is nearly done, I'd say around 85% done, somewhere around there, in terms of all the rages. I did not get all of them that I could have gotten to this point, White Dragon. I did get them, that's a good one. But uh, there is a number of enemies that even if I had done everything and, and tried to get every single one possible at this point, there's still a few that I cannot get uh, in terms of rages just yet. So as a result, I'll be moving on to the final dungeon of the game, which is what we are doing today. And I will make it to the point of no return. I'll drop a save there. And then uh, I'll, I'll beat the game and then reload that save at the point of no return and finish everything else off. Uh, to be honest, most of these I am not going to be using. Most of these are not very good. Uh, for instance, the Rhinox. Well, what am I going to have? Or the Vector Pop. You know what I mean? What am I going to be using that for that I can't use with like maybe the Stray Cat or the Senior Behemoth? or the white dragon, you know what I mean? There's other things that I have that are better. So a good majority of these, probably around 80% of these, I'm not gonna find a use for. So there's really no point in doing this other than completion, you know? Oh, I already went through that one a little bit fast, but this is what I have, just in case you were curious. Unfortunately, the one that I really want to use is the last one that I have on the list. Uh, that one is a very nice, uh, very nice rage to use. Unfortunately, I don't know how often I'll be using it because it's way down here, the IO. Remember I said this is gonna be a good one that you wanna look out for. Look how far down the list it is. Oh, it's ridiculous. But those are all the rages that I have. Like I said, I will be completing this off screen probably uh, between me finishing the game normally and a bonus episode so in case you're curious that is what we're going to be doing i won't be um showing off each and every one of the rages simply because i feel like that would be way too boring i mean we're talking about five i mean we're talking about an hour easily of me selecting rages from a list and tweak well, half the time, no matter what rage I pick, he's going to just do a basic attack. So uh, I would feel like that would be way too boring for me to, to upload. So I'm not going to be doing that. But I will show you the completed list of rages when we are done. Uh, in terms of Novin's lures, I have not gotten any more. I, d I didn't really look for any more. Uh, once again, because, well, number one, I don't think I've mentioned this before. I'm kind of short on time. But number two, because there are some lures that I cannot have access to based on what I have done yet. What I could do is uh, go into the final dungeon, uh, fight the enemy, learn the lore, and then leave. But that doesn't feel right to me. I'll be doing that for the bonus video, but for this normal run through, we'll be going just going through the, the tower normally. Elvis is my prototypical non-mage uh, character when it comes to what spells he has learned. He has learned most of the spells, don't get me wrong. He still knows most of it. Uh, he does not have Ultima, I did not teach him Ultima. Uh, there's a few that he needed to level up part of the way, but uh, pretty much anything with a times one he does not have at all. Uh, even though they're, you know, Quarter and White Wind, he leveled those up to an extent. They, he can't use them. He can't use them because it, it wasn't completed. Uh, primarily, I will be using him for curing off screen. That'll 
primarily be the, the use of the non-mage characters, probably with just a cure spell, uh, but in case there are status effects, I will be using those as well. In terms of the black magic, I probably will not be using uh, any of these, really, with my non-mage characters. Uh, so why did I do this? Uh, to try to help me with the bonus episodes, once again, where I will have everybody learn everything. In terms of my mage characters, like Lymia here, we have all the magic that is available to us for now. I believe this one here is actually Meteor. I believe it is actually called Meteor in this game, not Meteo, like it was in Final Fantasy V. Uh, we don't have access to that one. Uh, there's also... Oh, well, there's two here. Uh, there's two, I believe, both black magics that we don't have access to. I know one of them is Meteo or Meteor, but I don't know what the other one is offhand. We don't have that one, but we do have everything else, including Quick, including Ultima. This is my mage setup when we're going in. Uh, once again, I probably won't be using the majority of these spells, but I will probably be using Ultima. Uh, Flare is always nice. Quake, White Wind, maybe not. Uh, and then, of course, some of these gray spells would come in handy. So that is pretty much the setup that I have across the board between my non-mage and mage characters. Uh, I need to rearrange parties. I think I actually need to heal everybody off screen. Uh, and to be honest, at this point, I don't think I'm going to be bringing Sam or Marcel with us because we can only have three parties and those guys, I don't know, they, they hardly count, in my opinion. Maybe that's just me. So I will be back once we are ready to move on to the final dungeon. And I am back with what will be my primary party for the upcoming dungeon, because we are going to bring back the multiple party system for this. Uh, what I have is Luke, Rosen, Rosen? Yes, Rosen. We have Luke, Rose, Novin, and Bash with us. I have equipped them with some of the best equipment in the game. I could have better stuff for them, but it would require grinding and uh, sometimes going into the final dungeon. So, not necessarily the best equipment in the game, but I think pretty damn good equipment for them. Let's take a look at what espers I have. Bismarck for strength plus two on Luke. Uh, Try talk and zone seek for magic power plus two on uh, Rose and Novin. And we got Bahamut uh, for HP plus 50% on Bash because his HP is a little bit low and he needs the work that way. In terms of the relics, uh, I have the Offering and the Atlas armlet on Luke, the Fake Mustache and the Earrings on Rose, as because I would like to control enemies, and that's what the Fake Mustache is going to allow me to do. So instead of sketching, which will launch one of the enemy's own attacks back on that enemy, I'm going to try to control the enemy so that I can choose what the enemy does. It's a completely different system. Uh, but it should help us out, especially when I'm looking for lures, which might be what we are trying to do here today. There is also the gem box, which I picked up last time, but I never really went over. I will not be using this, even though it is a very, very good relic. Uh, what it does is it changes magic into X magic. Uh, remember that the offering changes fight into X fight, uh, but it works a little bit differently than that. Remember, the Offering does four attacks at half damage, so two times total damage at the end of the turn. The Magic into X Magic only does two spells, but they're at full strength, so it's still double the total damage, but only in two moves instead of four. Nice. It does cost a bit of MP, but I'm not going to put it on for this. I like conserving MP, maybe that's just me, although it is very useful at certain points and I might put it on for certain boss fights. Uh, we have earrings on Novin, just dual earrings, and a Genji Glove and a Black Belt for Bash so that he can do a ton of damage, as you can see, 456 battle power. And he'll counter if anybody ever hits him. But the only problem with him is that his defense is rather low. In terms of the equipment, I got the Illumina and the Paladin Shield on Luke uh, with the Genji helmet and Genji armor. That's not necessarily the best place to put the Illumina, uh, but in this party it is. 
because I don't think anybody else can equip it. And if they could, I don't really want them to. Luke is in charge of the yellow uh, Paladin shield also on him. We got the Gradius, Genji shield, Circlet, and Behemoth suit on Rose. Mage's Rod, Aegis Shield, Red Cap, and Behemoth Suit on uh, Novin. If you've forgotten the Behemoth Suits, we get off the Senior Behemoths, which show up a lot in the belt, so I have a ton of them. I probably have around 50 or so Behemoth Suits. Nothing to do with them except for to sell them, but I don't really have any use of money either. Uh, Stunner and Striker with the Mithril Helm and the Dark Gear on Bash. And I think we are finally ready. To move on to the final dungeon of the game, you, well, you did hear me say that this was the primary party of this. Let's just go ahead and land. Right, we're going in. You have to land from the airship into Kafka's tower. You can't walk into it. It's time to break into Kafka's domain. Why do we still have the nice cheery world map, mu no, well, not world map music, but the falcon music. What's wrong? Lamia? The statues give the Esper the magical energy they need to live. If we destroy the statues, what'll happen? I'm really not sure, but... The Espers, and magic too, will most definitely disappear from this world. And then... What will happen to Coco? She'll half disappear. Like her right half. And now we get to form our three groups that we are going to take with us into the castle. I already gave away my first group, uh, so let's get them together. It doesn't really matter what order I put them in, as long as they are all there. Uh, now my second group, which is not equipped at all right now, nobody else is equipped, well, except for Sam, but I'm not going to be bringing Sam along with us. Uh, nobody else is equipped. Uh, we're going to have Stefan, Coco, uh, and then the, the Figaro brothers, Elvis and Glenn in the second party. And that pretty much spoils what we're going to put in the third party, which is going to be Kanijo. Lamia, Tweak, and Toph. Now, unfortunately, that means that I'm leaving two of the two newest characters behind. We're leaving Sam and Marcel behind. We don't really have room for them. Marcel is decent, but we have better people. Well, all 12 of these people down here are better than him at the end of the day, so I don't feel too bad about leaving him behind. And then Sam, what are you going to do with Sam? All he can do is physical attacks, you know what I mean? So we're going to leave him behind as well. Too bad. So sad. But we're moving on with our three parties. Just realized that I got men at the lead of all of these. That was not intentional. 